Demand for EVs is heating up this year, with two of the world's largest companies, Ford and Nissan, both offering gas-free cars. But there's a little guy looking to unseat the big players, the Coda EV. Pricing starts at $37,250, which slots it in neatly in between the lower cost LEAF and the pricier Ford Focus Electric. Now the car also has best in class power ratings with 134 horsepower, 221 pound feet of torque, and a 9.5 second zero to 60 run. When you get into the Coda EV for the first time, there are a few things that you're gonna notice. And honestly, I wish they were good things, but they're probably not. Number one, the steering wheel desperately needs a few buttons, or really just one if you think about it, and that would be for Bluetooth pairing for your phone. Now, that might seem like a small complaint, especially in a car that obviously doesn't try to be a luxury item, but the fact is, Coda offers Bluetooth standard with the car, so it seems a little bit pointless to not have it available without having to take your eyes off the road. The second point goes right down to this Alpine unit, which you'll find yourself using just to answer the phone or tune the radio, and it's frustrating because it just looks outdated and out of place. Moving down, we have the gear selection knob, which really should add a premium feel to the car, but unfortunately it doesn't. And that's because every time you move the wheel, it has a single click meant to indicate moving from one position to another. For example, from neutral to drive. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't always respond the way you think it's going to, which can be particularly panicking in situations where you're trying to pull a quick U-turn downtown and you have a big Hummer bearing down on your backside, which actually happened to us earlier. And quite frankly, it wasn't really a fun experience. The interior really isn't much to talk about. But then again, it's not about the interior. It's about the driving experience. This car offers 221 pound-feet of torque from the get-go, which means that you have smooth acceleration all the way through the power band, up until the 85 mile an hour limit. Now, that's less than the Leaf, but then again, this car also gets better range. We're coming to the end of a long day where we've got more than 112 miles logged, which is much better than the 88 the EPA says you can get. That's very impressive. A couple of other things that are impressive about this car is that it has better acceleration than the Leaf. It also has better acceleration than the Focus EV. But one thing we will say is the braking is really frustrating around the city. When you step on the brakes, it has an unengaged feeling until it grabs hard and it throws you a little bit. Now, on the highway, that's not necessarily the case. It actually feels pretty good when you're braking at higher speeds. And that may come down to the fact that the car uses regenerative braking to put a little bit of power back into the batteries, but at the same time, a car that's supposed to be primarily used around the city really should be a little bit more comfortable than it feels when you're in stop and go traffic, at which point it can get very, very frustrating. If you're anything like me, you think the Coda looks pretty outdated. In fact, personally, I think it looks a little bit like a rebadged and recycled Toyota Echo, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. And that's because not everybody wants to be seen as driving an EV. And this car would allow you to drive under the radar with its understated styling, enjoying the benefits of electricity without all the looks and stares. After a long day in the Coda EV that included a trip to the Los Angeles River, there's really only one thing left to ask, and that's whether or not it stacks up to the competition. Now, anybody who's ready to buy an electric car will probably agree that range above all else is king. The car has to be able to take you where you want to go. And in this case, the Coda EV actually exceeded the 88 mile EPA estimated range. That's absolutely fantastic. Better still, the company offers a 10 year, 100,000 mile warranty to back up its battery pack, which is more than any other manufacturer does. It's just too bad that the car looks outdated and it feels unpolished.